be a really difficult task because of how athletic Colorado was, and you told your guys, don't worry about the offensive end of the floor. It's going to be yeah. one on the defensive side. Well, that's kind of how the game ended well, and how you played it. Is, but, I mean, that's, that's playing good basketball. That's playing winning basketball. You have to do that. I think we have uh, enough ver versatility, enough guys on the offensive end that we're going to be fine there. We, we quick shot a little bit in the second half, and it allowed them to get their transition going. But uh, they, we dominated the details today. We wanted to take away their transition and not give them second shots. Uh, we always want to be the hardest playing team on the floor and, and take care of the basketball, and I thought we did it. What do you think it says about your team knowing they paid attention to so many details when they had a lot of reasons and distractions due to the travel to maybe not pay yeah. attention to those details? Well, we'd like to say toughness travels. You know, take it with you. Put that in your in your travel bag and take some toughness with you and uh, give Coach Belcher a lot of credit. He, you know, all, the, all our guys, all our staff does a great job with their scouts, but Belch called that last play. He goes, here's what they like to do. I went right in the huddle, diagrammed it for him, and we didn't we didn't give up anything. So uh, give a lot of credit to Coach Belcher. Even though you would, knew it would come down to what you were going to be able to do defensively, what how did you like the offensive movement and your guys and the spacing they did throughout the game? Really, really good, except for that little spurt in the second half where I thought we quick shot. We turned it over a couple times like I think it was we had nine in the first half and so we had six in the second half that's pretty good and our execution uh, down the stretch was was terrific if, if we don't turn it over we're going we're, we're gonna to be uh, we're going to get some baskets but it's that defensive end where you got to lock in and uh, follow your scouting report I know you don't really have time to think about it when you're on the sideline but when you know Tyreek makes a couple big shots late. Christian Williams, Cooper Neese, Jordan Barnes. Isn't it nice that all those guys are on your team? <laughs> hey, I, I don't care which one of them does it. You know, they, they, all of them can do it, and all of them know that. Uh, it was really. I thought Tyreek. Uh, he, he gave up that three-point play when I thought it was pretty good defense, and he comes right back down and gets us a basket. And Coop hits that tough shot. And Coop's not just a three-point shooter. That, he makes that shot. I, he makes it all the time in practice. He works on it. Uh, the guys work on those runners. But uh, Christian Williams, I thought he's he and J Jordan Barnes were the best uh, couple players on the floor there for the majority of that game. I think it speaks volumes. I think we knew that JB improved and from a leadership aspect heading into this year, but. I mean, you could see it out on the floor. Yeah. I'm with you guys in the huddle, in the locker yeah. room. Huddles were great. The, you know, the impact he's had and now how it's carrying, not just on the floor, but throughout everything he does. It is, and it's it's not easy for some young guys these days. He's gotten better with it. He knows he needs to continue to get better with it. Kaipo, our guy. Uh, he knows he needs to get better with it, but it's in adversity, you know, when you have the strength. That's when you got to be the big-time leader and the big-time communicator. And I told him in the huddle, I, I told him in the locker room after the game, I was looking in their eyes, I knew it. You know, I knew it. I said, hey, they're going to have to, they're going to have to beat us here because we're in, we had calmness uh, in, in the huddle and the guys were really had tremendous poise. And then on the defensive end, you just fought. You knew that Christian and Cooper, of course, would have an impact and seeing that so far in two games. Now that they had that game against TCU, they kind of had that week to get better. Christian specifically, where did you feel he grew from his first game a week ago to tonight? Well, pretty darn good defensively and we need him to do that he's he's, he's smart and he, he this guy has instincts at both ends of the floor i mean he is a terrific basketball player and tonight tonight on the offensive end he's like i'm taking it right at him and he did you know he can he can make plays uh with the dribble posting up shooting the three ball really really good i'm just happy for coop getting though he got a couple got us a good burst there with those threes going in the first half and hitting a crucial crucial basket for us. So those two are going to keep improving just like the rest of the guys. Well, you don't win a game like this unless it's a team victory, uh, knowing Absolutely. that everybody played a factor. Well, that's what it was. And I think everybody that came in, you know, D in the first half, uh, uh, Amandre did some good things, Devin did some good things, everybody that came, Alante, everybody that came in contributed to it. And that's what we're talking about, you know. We're a pretty deep team, and guys are going to fight for minutes, and that's going to happen on good, good deep teams. But produce. Go in there. Don't be passive. Go in there and produce and make something happen and, and make effort plays. And I thought we made a bunch of them tonight.